Welcome to the What's New video for version 11.5 of Cut2D Desktop, where we're going to give you an overview of all the new and improved features that we've added in this release. This video is intended for existing customers who've recently upgraded to the latest version and only includes details of the incremental changes and enhancements to the previous version of the software. If you are new to Cut2D Desktop, then this video probably isn't the one for you. Instead, please take the time to watch the extensive support and tutorial videos provided with Cut2D Desktop to help you get started. This video is broadly divided into three sections, focusing on the main areas of Cut2D Desktop, drawing, toolpaths and general items. In each section, we'll give you an overview, highlighting brand new tools and a summary of enhancements and extensions to existing tools that you should already be familiar with, along with minor changes that have been made, usually in response to specific customer feedback, to improve workflow and fix problems that have come to light since the previous release. So, let's get started. The power of graphics hardware has increased dramatically in recent years. To make full use of this resource whenever it's available, we have completely rebuilt the 3D rendering infrastructure across all the products in our version 11.5 range. The result is the smoothest, highest detailed 3D view ever. Toolpath previews draw faster and with more clarity. The 3D material block can be viewed and manipulated dynamically while toolpath cutting is simulated even in higher resolutions. Improved lighting and shading techniques in the 3D view provide consistent visual shape and depth cues whether working on single-sided or double-sided projects. Any recent computer or hardware less than five years old will show a serious step up in 3D performance when running version 11.5, but our extensive testing shows that even older hardware will benefit. We have ensured that there is a robust but slower fallback mechanism for outdated or incompatible graphics cards, but it is essential in all cases that your graphics card drivers are up to date. Please visit your computer or graphics card manufacturer's website for specific guidance on getting the latest drivers for your hardware. In this release, we've introduced a brand new freehand drawing tool, which closely mimics the flow of drawing with a physical pencil, allowing you to create quick sketches and trace organic shapes much more easily. Within the form, there are various options to control the drawing. The smoothness setting helps with the post smoothing of your vectors and the stabilisation setting helps to stabilise the cursor for a more accurate drawing. Within the form, we have also included the ability to adjust the fading of your bitmap, saving you the hassle of having to exit the tool to make changes to the bitmap ready for tracing. The software now has the ability to identify and select duplicate groups and text entities in your file, making it much easier to clean up duplications ready for use with other features in the software. When simulating a toolpath, the camera can be twiddled around and zoomed in all whilst the simulation is running and animating to allow focus onto areas of interest, ensuring for better visibility of your toolpath moves. We're making better use of the CPU cores in some parts of the pocket toolpath calculation, noticeably in toolpaths with lots of vectors. This results in speeds up to two times in some cases. Variables can be defined for the tool geometry in the tool database, which can then be used in the tool's name and format. 
The custom variables are accessible through the tool database variables button for each tool geometry. It can then be used in the name format dialog either through using the handy drop down menu or by typing the variable manually. This is particularly useful for distinguishing between tools with exact geometry or adding further information to the tool that otherwise isn't specified by a default tool database format. For example, you could add variables that could pay reference to specifics such as the manufacturer, coating, or whether your tool is an upcut or downcut, giving you more options to organize your tool database. The software now has the ability to read image data within SVG files, ensuring that you get everything you need from the original file source. You are now able to open various file formats directly into the software, without the need to have the software open to begin with. Simply double click on the file, use Ctrl O or drag the file into the software. The file formats that can be opened directly include V3D, PVC, SKP and SVG with images. To ensure that your file type will always open with our software, simply right click on the file and head over to the properties. Here you can choose what program you wish to open this file type with. Simply select your Vetric product and going forward Windows will always open this file type in our software. The machine menu and part of the toolpath menu has been made available without having any projects open to allow the tool database to be accessible without having to open or create a new file. So that completes this overview of the enhancements we've made in this release. To learn more about the features covered in this video, head over to www.vectric.com where you can download the free trial software and read the supporting documentation. Thank you for watching.